welcome back. So today I'm doing a video on YSL sent me some new products. They are the Volupte, I'm not even sure I say that right, um, plump in color. So these are like a lip plumping product, has like a black lip center, which is the lip plumping product with inside the color is around the outside. So it says this balm is YSL's first hybrid formula with a plumping black heart core wrapped in deeply nourishing luscious color. Formulated with gently tingling peppermint oil, a, co a rich cocktail of antioxidants and vitamins, as well as hyaluronic acid to lock in moisture. Lips are pampered with love. This lip balm instantly softens and hydrates lips while gently plumping them for a voluptuous just kiss look. Now there are six different shades that they sent. They d did also send some like extras. These are some of the balming colors. I've already done a full video on that, so I will leave that linked if you would like to see all of those swatched on the lips. A lot of you guys, whenever I get YSL lip products, really like to see videos on them and doing lip swatches because they are more an expensive product and I know that if you're going to get just one, you really want to know what the color selection is, what they kind of look like on the lips, therefore I feel like swatch videos, lip swatch videos are the most helpful. At least I go on and look for lip swatch videos when I'm going to buy a product that is more expensive. So I believe that these are, it doesn't say the price on this sheet that they sent me, but I believe they're probably in the $32 range if I had to guess. Um, that's just what some of the rest of the lip products are that are very similar. So like I said, they did come out with six different shades. It looks like there's some oranges, some berries, a neutral one, which I do have on my lips right now, the neutral goldish one. And I have worn these, tested them out on the lips just to see like wear time and comfort and plumping. So I would say if you are not a fan, a fan of plumping products, it is a very slight tingly plumping, but it is a plumping effect. So if you already know that you don't like lip plumping products, there, there are some products that I would be like, well, if you don't necessarily love it, this one's okay. I think this one is like, I would say a medium tingle. It's not like an extremely long lasting one, but it does have initially more of a tingle than some of the other products that I've used, which for me, that's a really good thing because some stuff just kind of wears off really quickly and I'm like, wait a minute, this was supposed to be plumping. So I do like the plumping effect. So the shade that I have on right now is the first one I'm gonna show you, it's number seven. And this one is called Furious Gold, which I like the fact they gave me this sheet that says the name of it because only the product has like the number on the bottom. So they come in a silver bullet packaging and it sort of shows the color in this center part right here. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. So let me zoom in really quick. As you can see, it just has like a black heart in the center. That is the lip pump plumping product. And then the color of the product is going to be around the outside. So that's like the main part of it, but the black heart is the plumping part. Now I find that the black heart doesn't apply any color. It's really just kind of like that plumping balm. And then the color does come from the outer part. So at first I was like, wait a minute, does that black heart like put like a little bit of black on the lips? It No, it does not. I will swatch this on my hand. As you can see, this is like really honestly just a neutral nude shade. I mean, it ha it's like a golden-ish shade. Once you kind of go over it, like the black part becomes sort of faded. If you want to get it back, you just kind of wipe on the top of the tip. It's a really, really nice neutral color, but this one isn't going to provide you a lot of color. It's more going to be like a, a balm with some shimmer in it and the plumping effect. This one does not have a very long wear time at all. I would say about 30 minutes later, you're gonna need to reapply this. However, it does feel very hydrating on the lips, but it's just kind of more of like a very slip product where I feel like it kind of wears off, but the tingly part does stay quite a significant time. I noticed up to an hour is how long I sort of felt the tingliness. Now, initially when you apply it, you feel the tingle effect really, really strong. And then it kind of wears off into more of like the peppermint effect, like where you can feel like it's almost like you have peppermint 
sort of on your lips and not so much like tingling them, but really like minty and fresh. The product smells a little bit like peppermint mixed with how YSL lip products smell. So like almost like a pepperminty mango type of a scent, but it's definitely can smell the typical YSL lip product scent within these. However, you can smell the addition of that peppermint. So this one on the lips, like I said, just is like a really pretty sheen, neutral, but like not a ton of color payoff, but I mean, it looks and says it's a nude, so that's what to expect from this particular shade. Okay, this next one is more of like a corally shade. This is number one, and it's called Mad Nude. I would say it's like a corally pink shade, but I mean, again, not a ton of color payoff, really more just like balm plumping, but this is what it looks like on the lips. So, I mean, it's pretty, but it is, again, more of like the nude shade, so you're not going to get a ton of color payoff. This would be a really nice one to keep in your purse, or if you're kind of like me, I like to put on like a lip color, and then I like to top it maybe with a product like this, where I can really feel like my lips are showing the plumpness. Honestly, the more and more I'm trying these on, it's like my lips are like pretty numb, tingly. So I mean, the plumping effect is very, like you can feel it. It's not like it's some dingly plumping effect. It's true. I don't even know if dingly is a word, but this is has a significant plumpingness to it. Um, and especially the more that you're layering it, it's probably going to feel more plumping. But this is a really pretty color. Again, a color that I think a lot of people would gravitate towards, but it, it's not like, you know, a super noticeable color. It's just a very easy color. Okay, now we're getting into a little bit more of the brighter pink shades, and quite frankly, if I were someone purchasing these products, I would want something that you could really tell, like a color on my lips. Um, although, you know, the more nudes are more everyday wearable, I would just want something that kind of gave me like a little bit of a stain or a little bit of color. This one is number two in the Dazzling Fuchsia, and... I like this one. It's a really pretty pink and I feel like it's very like, almost since it's not like, it's more of like a balmy product, it really gives you like that stained sort of look like you had a popsicle and then you put like a, a lip balm on top. That's the kind of vibe that it gives you like when I look up close to it, but I really like this particular color. Okay, this one I would wear a ton in the summertime. This is number four. Um, exposing coral. This is just a really pretty corally orange shade. Let me show you the swatch of that one right there. So that was the pink one. I don't know if I showed that. And then this is the coral one. It gives a little bit of color, a little bit of like that, again, that stainy sort of popsicle looking lip with not too much, but enough where I feel like if you had like a tan and you use this, holy mackerel, let me tell you, like the inner part of my lips feels like it is like plumped right now so this does have like like I said if you keep layering this you're gonna get a significant amount it almost feels numb like a significant amount of plumping um, I really like this color this is probably gonna be one that I keep in my collection and really get some good use out of all right we have a red shade this is number five in delirious orange oh I thought this was more of a red, but it's like a deeper orange shade. So you have the corally color, and then you have the orange next to it. So that's the coral one. That one's the orange, this one. And I like this one a lot. Again, my preference is I would get a deeper shade, something that shows up more, just because they do provide a little bit of that stain. So they have like the stain, that really pretty look, and then plus the plumping effect. Okay, this is the last color. This is number six, and it is in Lunatic Red. So this is the more red shade in the collection right here. Again, another really, really pretty one. Um, I do prefer these more oranges and reds. I would actually probably even wear more than that bright pink. Uh, I just think that they're really, really pretty. If you're someone who wants to wear a red, but it's like a little bit nervous to wear a red, this is like the perfect type of an option because it isn't too like bold or in your face or you don't have to get the lines like extremely perfect on your lips. It's a very easy throw on red, which very few products are easy throw on when it comes to a red, but I think this is one of them. Okay, that is it for these new products, these new lip pumping products. Let me 
me know in the comments down below if you've tried them, what you think, if you are interested in trying them, and which one was your favorite color. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.